Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> That's really distracting. Um, if you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. If you are not new here, thank you for coming back. Um, David's sitting over there in case you're wondering. What's up, Plant Fam? Who I was talking to. He went like this when I, I don't know why, when I said, hey, Plant Fam. Um, so the lighting's really bad. I apologize. I have the overheads on, which just casts a weird shadow on my nose, and I hate it, but there's nothing I can do about it, so it is what it is. I'm going to try and, like, be really close to you so you can see how tired I look. It's only 3.20, but it, it's dark. It's a very dark, gloomy day, but it's not a bad day because I have plant mail, and I'm really excited because I have a wish list plant in here and then two other plants that weren't necessarily on my official wish list but they were still on my list of plants that I wanted eventually so I got these from Jax's jungle in the I guess it was like a Black Friday auction on Instagram they were just dropping the prices like crazy so I bought some plants <laughs> Oh, my hair got stuck in my earring. It's sticking out weird. Anyway, so yeah, there's three plants in this box and I'm pretty excited about all of them. Cute little sticker. Another Jax with a jungle. Um, that is my invoice. I'm just, I'm really excited and I'm glad that the UPS guy figured out how to get in the door because I was a little bit nervous about it. I'm not going to lie. So there's some little plant care stuff in here. Super cute. Definitely never mad about that. I don't usually ever read it, but it's good for people who um, maybe don't know how to care for their new plants. So I did request some winter packaging. So there's insulated wrapping in here. It's not super cold, but it was on a truck literally all day in like the 40 degree weather. So I'm not mad about the extra insulation today. And then this is what it looks like. I'm really excited about this. All right, where do we start? I don't know what what they are, but they all look like this. Let's just take them all out. Okay, and then that's the big one. I think I know what that one is. Let's see here. All right, so these are stapled. I'm just going to like gently rip it. You're not missing anything exciting. It's just wrapped again on the inside here. If you like to try and reuse packaging as much as possible, whatever I don't reuse, I usually recycle. Okay. I think this is the bottom of the plant. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know which is which. I'm just really excited for all of them. I actually kind of like the wheelie chair. I can move around and be like, hey, look, now you get a side angle. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting in the wheelie chair. <laughs> Let's see. Lots of floof. You guys know how much I like floof. So definitely packaged with a lot of care. I think this is the Hoya. Oh, oh my goodness. So these were all grower's choice. So I have no idea what any of them are going to look like. And I am not disappointed by this Hoya. Holy crap, holy. 
Let me get it all the way out of here so you can see it. This is the Hoya Polynura Silver, or like Broget, Broge. Like I, ge I genuinely don't know because there are so many different names. But look at the leaves, you guys. Oh my goodness, it's got a new little growth point over here. I'm trying to get it to focus. And it looks like these two leaves are newer as well. So they did get a little beat up but that happens so it's fine otherwise it looks so good did i need it like no but i have one little cutting that i paid way too much money for so when i saw the price i was like oh my goodness my cutting doesn't look great um i don't remember how much i paid let me open this up i think it was 60. Yeah, Hoya Polynura Bro, Broge, Broget. We're going to go with silver, <laughs> $60. And I paid uh, an extra $12 for the um, winter packaging, in case you were wondering. So that is the first plant out of the box. And I'm kind of in love with it. It's really, really pretty. I will take it out of here and check out what it's in. It looks like it's in like a cocoa mix, which means I'm going to need to repot it soon because I just don't do well with that. So we can transfer it to my chunky Hoya mix that I do well with. So everybody is different. If you like to water your plants a lot, then a cocoa mix would be fine for you. So then I think I know what this one is. And I'm going to save it for last because this has to be the other one because the leaves are probably huge on it. And I wasn't sure about this one, but if this is the one I'm thinking, it was only $20. Yeah. $20. So no idea what it's going to look like. They were just pulling out trays and like saying, we have this many, if you want one, then you would comment, sold, and the first, you know, handful of people that they saw would get them. So I was like, you know, it's just sometimes too good of a deal. Like I paid so much money for one little cutting of that Hoya more than $60. So that was a really good price for that. All right. I want to show you guys this as I'm doing it, but I don't want to hurt the plant. Maybe this will work. Wow. Oh. You guys, these leaves are wet. I don't know why they're wet, but they're fine. They're not like cold damaged or anything. Oh my God. I don't know why they're wet, but it's actually just making them look that much more gorgeous. This is the Philodendron Dean McDowell. Now, I didn't know that this was a crawler, and I should have because it, I think it's crossed with a Gloriosum, and you guys know how I feel about Gloriosum, but look at these leaves. It was only $20, and I had it on my wish list. It just wasn't very high up on my wish list, and um, this pot got all types of squished. Or is it just because it's a crawler and it's growing like crazy? I don't know. We're going to have to get in there and see what's going on. But you guys, it was $20. Look at those leaves. Holy guacamole. They are so gorgeous. Philodendron Dean McDowell. I don't know what it's crossed with. I'll put it on the screen. 
but this plant is absolutely stunning and I was like screw it I'll just get one of those like longer planters for it and we'll figure it out because look at it as long as I can keep it happy the reason why my gloriosum irritates me is because it never puts out a nice looking leaf so we're starting out with nice looking leaves this time <laughs> so hopefully it's gonna go a lot better but that's gorgeous do you see this philodendron? Very it's stunning. You're stunning. I don't know about all that. <laughs> Look like the hot mess express right now. You're stunning. I just want to like play video games and sit on the couch. I went to the gym this morning and now I'm just like exhausted. Okay, so this is the last plant. And this is the most expensive plant in the order. But if you watched my wish list video, you guys. It was like the top of my list so obviously I had to right same packaging again packaged really well like that both of those look like they weren't even in a box they look like they just came from the store so I'm not mad about it I mean it's Wednesday and they shipped it Monday so like the fastest shipping I, I just bought these plants and now I have them ready so it's kind of like almost instant gratification almost not quite but almost so definitely really excited about this oh my goodness you guys you guys I have no idea what it's gonna look like because fun story they had to exit the auction on Instagram. Sometimes it kicks you off when you've been on for a little while. And I took a few minutes coming back on because to be honest with you, I was refilling my humidifier. It was getting kind of late and I was tired. And I was like, let me do this really quick while we're taking a break. And then I came back and they were doing this plant and I missed it. And I had been asking for it all night <laughs> because this is one of my wish list plants. And she said she had it. And um, they had held one for me, which was really sweet. So thank you guys for that. Are you ready to see it? I don't know if I'm ready. Ah! Oh my God. <gasps> it's got a new leaf. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at it. This is the philodendron bicolor. The leaf is sticking up right now, but as they mature, like it's gonna hang down like those gorgeous strappy anthuriums that we can't keep alive. So we get the philodendrons that look like them instead. Look at that new leaf. It's it's perfectly intact. How did they do that? That's crazy. This looks perfect. It's literally perfect. I had, I literally had no, I didn't see them in the auction. Like I had no idea how many leaves, like what was going, I didn't even know how much it was. I didn't even care. I was like, yes, I want one. Just give me one, please. So how much did I pay? $100. I know that probably sounds crazy if you don't know this plant, but that is such a steal. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I'm obsessed. And it looks so crazy healthy. I wanna get it out of here and see. What's, I made such a mess. It looks like Christmas morning on the floor right now. There's just like wrapping everywhere. Oh my goodness. It's in soil. It is really nicely rooted. I can see some roots coming up. There's some aerial roots. It looks like this was probably a mid cut maybe. And now it's working on this new leaf. So it is in soil. Oh my goodness. And they put the little silica 
packs, which is nice because it helps keep the humidity uh, like at a normal place. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is so cute. I love their little tags too. I can't handle it. Ah, this is so pretty. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. These are so pretty. These are so pretty. Look at this Hoya. Oh my goodness, you guys. I feel like it's been a while since I unboxed a Hoya. I've been buying so many philodendrons and Monstera and I just threw it on the floor. It's fine. Everything's fine. But like that. I'm just gonna be staring at this. <laughs> I'm gonna be staring at this for so long. You guys are gonna see so many pictures of this on my Instagram. Oh my goodness, this new leaf. Can't wait to watch you grow. This is so exciting. I love that it's little. It's gonna fit in perfectly with my baby Mexicanum and my baby Patricia and my little Billies. Like I can't, I can't even handle it, so. I guess we have already knocked one off of my wish list. I definitely was not planning on getting it anytime soon, but I could not say no to this steal. And I do really trust them as sellers. They've been really, really kind and really sweet. I've only purchased once before, but they are really nice people. So I wanted to buy again. And I'm probably going to keep on uh, buying more plants because you guys know I'm a sucker for an Instagram auction and I need I need a new home for Instagram auctions because we can't go to certain places anymore. <laughs> what? I'm just saying I miss the au I miss the regular live auctions. So, yeah. And now I have like little reward points on their website. So I have to use them, obviously, right? I have to buy more stuff. That's how they get you. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I mean, I'm, this just made my day. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm not going to lie. I'm really curious to get in here and see what's going on. But, um, yeah, I will leave their website linked down below because they do just keep their website pretty well stocked if you want to go and check it out if you're not on Instagram. I think they're probably on Facebook, too. So I'll leave all of that information for you guys so you can go and check them out. And um, maybe I'll see you in the next live auction. There were a handful of you in there, and it was really fun to be able to hang out so that you will not be surprised by any of these plants because you were there. I fell asleep, so I didn't stay till the end of the auction, but it was a fun one, so. Okay, yeah, this one's potted up into soil as well, so I'm not really worried about it. I can actually see some new roots because the pot got a little bit squished, but that's okay because I'm probably just gonna take it out of here and try and plop it into like a different container anyway without really disturbing it. But you can see there are some like new growth on these roots here. And um, yeah, she's really cute. I'm curious, I think she's working on something new here. So this big one is the newest leaf out I think unless this is two right there's another growth point in here you can't see it there's that little pink nub there um it's poking out it's trying to come out of this old sheath here so I don't know there might be two uh separate growth points in here which I wouldn't be mad about so we're gonna have to get in there and see what's going on but yeah, I'm going to go. I hope that you guys had fun hanging out with me. And if you did, you should give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. 
hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. If not, there is a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me and donate a few dollars to my channel. Everything is appreciated. I cannot do this without you guys. And let me know in the comments below if you could only pick one of these three plants, which one would you pick to have in your collection? This gorgeous billowy Dean McDowell, or are you more of like a strappy plant person? Or are you a silvery plant person? This, these leaves are gorgeous. Okay, I gotta go because I'm just gonna keep on rambling about these plants. I love you fam so, so very much and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.